All right, guys, what we got here is a 2012 Dodge Ram or Ram, whatever you want to call it. <clears throat> 2500 Cummins, heavy duty. So, uh, yeah, it's completely, completely rebuilt from the machine shop all the way uh, <clears throat> to my garage so basically what it boils down to is it's got a uh, it's a 6.8 liter according to everything we've done to it so it's gonna come complete with engine harness uh, basically everything water pump water pump tensioner it's a deco tensioner uh, you got all your got your crank sensors you got your CP3 pump you got all your injector lines this here was opened up so grid heater delete um, Basically, this all this in here can't can't be buttoned up yet because it's on the stand. So once I get it lifted, get the engine lifted off, uh, I'll be able to mount and assemble all this. So like this fuel line, fuel line here is all loose. Those fuel lines are loose. Um, you got the harness here, the engine harness. It's all ready to go, ready to slap into. Uh, your 2010 eh, maybe even maybe even 2009 and newer so basically if you go to some of my playlists of the build of this motor it is a uh, 6.7 6.7 Cummins it's bored out point point two five uh, figure this thing out real quick why you're doing this so it's point point five zero millimeter bored out um, because the uh, previous owner of the truck it's a uh, 2012 Ram 2500 heavy duty previous owner neglected oil changes oil services and uh, yeah, he seized the motor, so cylinder or rod number three or four, I can't really remember. I remember I loosened three or four and then the uh, crank started to spin freely, so I loosened one, two, it was still tight, three if I remember right, and four I started to loosen and uh, freed up the motor. Anyway, so it's all been to Adam's metalizing machine shop in Lancaster, California. They turn the crank. The crank is turned over 0.25 millimeters. Um, so that's ten thousandths. Ten thousandths. So we put newer, uh, bigger bearings. They call it undersized, but uh, they're thicker bearings. For the rods. So the whole crank. So all the main mains uh, and all the rod mains were all turned ten thousandths of an inch which is nothing uh, it's thinner than a paper the cylinders were bored 0 0.20 thousandths 0 0.02 thousandths so 0 0.020 which is uh, two thousandths or twenty thousandths uh, of an inch and the uh, if you go to millimeters it's 0 0.50 millimeter so which isn't really nothing so it brings the motor to a uh, 6.8 liter is what I've read and what I've researched um, I do have the turbo the turbo is not on because I don't know I, the capacity of this engine stand is if I remember right it's 1200 pounds the whole complete motor I think is a thousand pounds so anyway you got your uh, block heaters in here um, this is for an outlet for a turbo 
So everything's been painted with high temp paint. The exhaust manifold paint probably won't last. Uh, it's sprayed with uh, siliconized high heat, high temp, 1600 degree temperature paint. The motor is painted uh, burnt copper and uh, I'll show you the uh, paint for that. So it is this here. So two, two cans are still three quarters of a can left in here. So you can see it's rated right to 650 degrees Fahrenheit. Um, that's the block. Everything was assembled uh, using this race line assembly lube. So everything, uh, water, uh, oil pump. It's got a brand new milling, milling oil pump. It's got all uh, cleavite. Cleavite bearings, uh, it's got all Cummins, uh, Freightliner, whatever you want to call it, fleet guards, all Cummins, uh, gaskets. Uh, one of the rods had to be replaced because it was a little bluer than the machine shop liked. So the machine shop recommended replacing a rod. Um, it's got ARP main studs. Like I'm saying, if you go to the, the playlist, You'll see it's got ARP main studs, ARP rod bolts, it's got ARP head studs. So motor's ready to go. It's got a Cummins OEM head gasket, Cummins OEM pistons, uh, you know, but then they're uh, upsized so they're not a standard piston. They're uh, 0 0.50 millimeter bigger. Um, I don't know why they do it in metric, but they do. So, anyway, uh, motor's ready to go. It's a newer water pump. Uh, water pump is new. Tensioner's new. Um, everything inside oil pump is brand new. New bearings throughout, and pistons, rings, all throughout. Uh, the head was machined at the machine shop. Um, they replaced all the valve stems, the valve stem guides, with the valves right up and down. Um, they replaced all the valve stem seals, so the head was all replaced. Head was all worked, tested. It's a uh, Magnaflux, tested out. Everything was good. Um, the only thing the motor needs is a is the computer, the ECM from your vehicle, or however you're going to be doing it. So, that is the uh, 6.7 Cummins motor right there. So, so you guys uh, tell me what you guys think. If you're interested in it, I don't know how much I would like to get a, uh, if I'm going to do this, sell it. I would like to get a uh, core really like to get a core otherwise uh, the price will be more so yeah so I'm thinking uh, I'm thinking seven grand is uh, the least I'm gonna take for this thing um, it is complete like I said complete motor complete everything wire harness Everything's complete. So, uh, yeah. I do have more parts. I do have the flex plate for this motor. And, uh, yeah. So, you guys let me know what you guys think. What you guys... What you guys want to do with it. I have no use for it. So, you guys let me know what you guys think. And the camera's upside down. <laughs> so, anyway, back to it. Let me know what you guys think. It's for sale. I'm over it. I need to move on to uh, bigger, better projects. Oh, bigger, better projects. Um, I do have uh, project crack pipe 
that I would like to get going here. So this will be my next project even though it's already been a project. So anyway, that's going to be it for this video guys. You guys let me know what you guys think. What you guys want to do, let me know. And uh, we'll go from there. Alright guys, subscribe, check out the playlist and you'll see everything, all the parts I used for it. Torqued everything down, everything's been torqued to spec. Uh, one thing I'd recommend is once after you do your heating, your engine uh, warm up, let's go through retake retorque the head studs or the head bolts, whatever you want to call them, the nuts, and uh, redo a valve adjustment. So the valves are adjusted. So you guys let me know. All right, make sure you guys subscribe, hit that bell notification, go to the playlist, check out the 6-7 Cummins build. You guys let me know. Thanks for watching. Later.